Okay. All right, tundra time. Welcome to the studio. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on a Toyota Tundra, only because it's been the one that's been sort of by itself. The ugly duckling. Quack. The child that nobody wants to talk to, because everybody wants to talk to the big three. The Ram, the F-150, and of course the Silverado slash Sierra. Those are important, but this one sort of gets left behind. All right, Toyota truck fans, I'm in the 2024 Toyota Tundra Limited with the TRD Pro Package. Gives you all this off-roady stuff, looks nice and cool. There are three engine outputs you can get right now. The base motor makes a whopping 348 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. Then next up is the iForce. That also has the same twin-turbo V6. That makes 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. And then there's this the iForce Max, and this makes 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, but that is not the best part. The best part is they're making a performance package that's available in spring of 2024, and that'll give you an extra 32 horses. That has all made it to a 10-speed transmission. So let's see what this thing does. 260, I will get my draggy ready. I am in rear-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, drive modes in sport, foot on the ground, Let's get this max thing to go boom, 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 and let's go. A little bit of spinach. What we got, what we got? Not bad, not bad, not bad. 5.98. Not bad at all, Toyota Tundra. So 5.98 is basically a complete tie with the Sequoia TRD Pro, which did it in 5.96 seconds. And if you want to see that video on the Sequoia, it'll be coming out pretty soon. a very like they have made some attention to detail when it comes to sound this doesn't really sound like a six she sounds like an eight listen it sounds eightish it's throaty it's aggressive it's it's fake the hood's really high in this thing feels like a raptor like legitimately like a raptor it's like it's funny every time i see like gravel i'm like i know you want me to touch you so i like driving the gravel and it's just amazing i love it so here's everything you get with the trd pro package on this tundra TRD Pro Heritage front grille with an integrated light bar, exterior amber markers just like the Raptor, smoked headlamps, TRD Pro hood badge, technical camouflage, exterior accents, a TRD skid plate, a TRD front stabilizer bar, Fox off-road shocks with a 2.5 inch internal bypass coilover system, TRD Pro off-road suspension with a 1.1 inch front lift, 18 inch TRD Pro black forged BBS wheels, TRD Pro stamp tailgate, dual black exhausts and on the inside you get technical camo pattern inserts on the seats and a knob for multi-terrain select and crawl control which comes standard on the TRD Pro. This color is called Terra and it's built in San Antonio, Texas in Toyota's manufacturing plant. You can get 40 different configurations of a Tundra two versions of where humans sit, three versions of where humans put their stuff. 
You want to hear seven different models, starting off with the SR, then the SR5, the Limited, then comes the Platinum, the 1794 edition, then this, the TRD Pro, and then the Capstone, which is the top dog of the Tundra. Now, serious question, I'd like to know why people don't buy Tundras. This is a great truck. Forget the styling, which I will get into in a second. Maybe it's because people work at one of the domestic plants or have some sort of connection to get a deal. Maybe that's the case. I don't know, but let me know in the comments below why you did not opt for buying a Tundra. Anyways, let's start off with these headlights. Look how cool this is. At the top here, you have quad projectors, and in the middle, you have one, two, three, what look like billet pieces. Really, really nice there. Then you have perforated DRL, this wide piece is not opaque, it's translucent. And then in the back of it, you have these indicators that do this cool animated design. But when you look at it from the side here, it's not perforated. You have little lines. So they have dimensions to this headlight, including the word Toyota right at the side of it. Down from there, you have something that actually works. This is functional. When they move to the center, you have this retro Toyota badge right there, T-O-Y-O-T-A. That is from a Land Cruiser from about 75 years ago. You have this TRD light bar that only activates when you have your high beams on. You've got these three lights. Then you have Tundra with camo on the plastic. It's just these little details. These are LEDs and they're bright. They're not halogen and they're not on the side. It just flows together well. It's very squared off, very high, very bold. And I really do like it. And if you feel the same way, please let me know because I'm not blind and this is a good looking truck. And this is not an ad. We don't get paid by a Toyota to do this. We get paid by all the ads you guys watch. And of course, unless you're YouTube Premium, well then, we don't get paid. So if you're wondering how to get this color, this is only available with the TRD Pro and it's new for 2024. It comes with 18 inch rims. They say BBS Forge right on them as well as Pro. This is an all-terrain mud tire. Around the fender flares, you have more camo in the front and the rear. Then you have the TRD Pro right above it, similar to what a Raptor looks like. You've got piano black underneath these extended out mirror caps and of course LED there when you're indicating. And if you're wondering if it does have 360 cameras, well, yes, it does one underneath the mirror. From a configuration standpoint, Toyota brands this as a Crew Max, four full doors. However, you can get it in two different bed sizes. You can get it in a 5.5 and a 6.5. If you get the smaller doors, which is like the extended cab, which is what most brands call it, you can get a 6.5 foot bed or an 8.1 foot bed. 8.1 foot, that is crazy. So if you're wondering what type of fuel you need to put in your iForce Max, the answer is regular fuel, which is actually pretty surprising considering that's their top dog engine they have in the Toyotas. Makes lots of power and for regular fuel, I applaud them. Take a look at these exhausts. They have dual tipped and they're black. Reminds me of an old Ford Cyclone with the exhaust coming out the side. Super cool. Now these are animated. They give you an animation very similar to what the Ford Mustang does, including a button right here. And if you're wondering what this button does, how sick is that? Now moving into the tailgate, you can see you have one, two, three lights just like the front, including lots of this camo plastic. Great touch Toyota more Toyota badging right there. I like how it says Toyota right there as opposed to having Toyota right here. This is just the model that it is, TRD Pro, love it. Now, moving down from this terracotta color, you'd like to know that this does tow 12,000 pounds. That's a lot of weight. Now, it's not the class leader, but that's a lot of heft you can pull with your Tundra. You have more camo leading into your rear reverse lights right there. Similar to the front, I like how they've placed these LEDs. Very skinny with a lot of punch. Then here is your tow stuff where 12,000 pounds happens, and that is your Toyota badge right there letting you know. So if you're wondering where the word Tundra is on the vehicle, it is right here, Tundra. Wow. Now take a look at this bed. You do have four D rings on the bottom. One, two, three, four. You also have four clamp downs, basically. You could slide these backwards and forwards and you can tie things to them. Of course, you do have a bed light. And as far as power goes, right here you will see you have 120 watts with 400 power jam outlet right here. 
And yes, it does have a bed camera, so you can see what's going on in the bed while you're driving down the highway. First things first, these seats, they say TRD Pro right at the top of them with stitching. TRD in silver, Pro in red, with red stitching all the way around the side bolsters, which bolster pretty well for a truck. They have this camo design in the actual perforations of the seat all the way around, including the rear seats, which is so cool. I like the camo vibes they got going on here. Okay, door panel, very squared off, very, very squared off. You've got red stitching right at the top, so you can put your hands right here, a little bit high for me. I think if you were taller, this would be a really good spot to put it, but it's okay, they got me. They have a lower level for us short kings. Right there, you've got all your buttons for your mirrors and of course your windows. There's two memory seats. It's on the actual panel, like the side panel here. You have two memory seats for the driver, lots of space underneath here to put two bottles as well as a whole bunch of let's call it twinkies that's a shout out to my boy joe from rady's rides let's talk about what's going on here you could get a chipotle burrito in there with extra sour cream you also have this steering wheel that has perforations all the way through them with the 12 o'clock red marker you have a 12.3 driver's display and you have a massive 14 inch display that's huge this thing is massive very easy to read it takes your standard toyota system and we'll get in that in a minute but let's go back to where i'm sitting right here on the left hand side here i do have a button that puts on and off the rear light for the bed i do have my auto high beams my fuel of course i can reset the trip computer and heated steering wheel but the most important button here is called trd light bar and that is the light bar right in the center of the grill so in the grill they have this light and the only way this light activates, you can't just press the button. It says there's a button that says TRD light bar. When you hit it, it doesn't work. The only way it works is by having your high beams on. You can't just have your lights on and put it off. Like when I got in this thing and we were trying to film on the outside, I was pressing the, I was putting my automatic lights on, pressing this button, pressing this button, it wasn't working. And then high beams on, press the button, and it worked. So there we go, there's the little trick. You can have this light bar on, but only with the high beams on. There's the stop and start, and it actually has the TRD on it. It's not stop start, it says TRD right there. Toyota, big Toyota right across the face of the, where the passenger sits. It's very retro, it's like the front grille where it says Toyota on it. Your HVAC controls, very easy, big to see. Of course, you have dual climate control in the front. You have three increments of heated, three in increments of cooled seats. And of course, underneath there, you have all your trailering views, which is a big deal on this Tundra, this specific one on the Pro. You have TRD on the shifter itself, right there with more red to match the red on the steering wheel. Park, reverse, neutral drive, and of course, when I move it to the left, I have sport with paddles up and down. There's no paddle shifters on the actual steering wheel. You have to use the shifter for that. And then you have your two high, four high, and four low. That's done by pushing this button down and sliding it back into the appropriate position. You have your different drive modes, tow haul. You have your crawl mode crawl mode yep this does have it you have a wireless charger right there more storage and two big cup holders if you want more storage well there's storage right here this is not one flat center console it has storage right there so you can put stuff in then you have this little sort of panel that you can lift up and you have stuff for your credit cards this is where all your credit cards and stuff go if you're curious to know if there's more storage underneath this of course there is this is a truck i lift this up and there's a ton more storage underneath here including a usb and a USB C, and little slots for your pennies quarters and nickels love that when I fold this back down, I have two more cup holders in the back. That's pretty straightforward in the truck world, but there's a lot of storage here. There's a lot of data to know in the back seats of this Tundra. First things first, there's a 288 volt battery underneath these seats. And the way to get it is just lift this up and voila, you have this. The battery is hiding underneath. There's no storage underneath these seats, but there is a way to fold the seats down in a 60-40 split and then you have storage behind that portion of it this has jbl premium audio so you have the subwoofer right behind the driver seat like driver and then rear and then there we go there you have it you follow the same camo vibe like you do in the front i love that they're they're not spending the money just in the front they're giving it to you in the back so the kids in the back are like sweet seats dad you're my guy now let's jump in here okay perfect there's a handlebar to jump in let's close this door 
lots of room, no different than the big three. This is pretty straightforward in terms of square footage back here. Nice big panoramic sunroof, love that. I do have lights back here. I do have a USB as well as a USB-C, one of each, not just forcing me to get one or the other. Boom, one for each one of my choices. And I do have a plug, a three prong plug, a little bit of storage here, and then vents. I have vents here left and right. And of course I have that big 14 inch screen in front of me. So I have lots of visibility on what we're playing or what the driver has going on. I do have more red stitching here. Again, I like that they've put these pieces inside here. And I do have a speaker here and a tweeter above. So I do have a lot of range of sound for my eardrums. Now this cabin is sitting on hydraulic mounts onto the actual ladder frame. That makes it more comfortable when you're back here as a passenger or even the driver in the front. That is a unique touch, Toyota. All right, let's put this thing back in the eco. Now what I do appreciate about this is it has the hybrid portion plus it has turbocharger. So you have both. It's really good. Now, I will say that the hybrid shuts off after 18 miles an hour in terms of shutting off as it doesn't just work on electric. You have to have the engine on after 18 miles an hour, it automatically activates. So it's not like this thing can run on the highway in electric. The hybrid's just there to sort of help you around town and give you a little bit more smoothness. Okay, now the one thing I will say is the turning radius is, is pretty bad. Okay, let's put this thing in reverse. That is one thing I will complain about, the turning radius. One thing I will not complain about is how badass this thing looks on the outside. And it's pretty comfortable for what it is. Like, it's so funny because you don't expect a Toyota to sound like this. Like, you're not thinking, yeah, I'm gonna buy a Toyota and this is what I'm gonna get. And that is because when I think about Toyota in North America, all I think about is Camrys and Siennas, and that's it. And it's kind of unfortunate a little bit because I feel like this truck should get way more press than it does. You know, when you're buying Sorry, this, the network is currently when you're buying this, you're only really looking at the big three. You're buying, looking at a Ram, you're looking at F-150, and you're looking at, you know, one of the GM products, whether it be a Silverado, a Sierra, or whatever. But this is really good, really good. And I mean, I'm a huge fan of this. The, the, the font they have on this driver's display, but that's just really a preference. This screen is amazing. It's very easy to use. They use the same software as pretty much most of the other Toyotas we've reviewed. Very easy HVAC controls, lots of space over here. It's just, it just looks different and cool. And I just like the different and cool approach. As far as ride goes, even though this does have forged wheels with mud tires on it, it is comfortable. It's not bumpy. It's fine. It's a little bit noisy, obviously, because the tires have nothing really to the truck. It's more like the tires. It's got lots of space. It's squared off, so the blind spots aren't really existent. There's a little bit back there, but nothing that the mirrors don't cover, as well as you obviously have blind spot indicator. So when you're doing turns in this thing, so if you're doing like just constantly doing turns, this perforations in the steering wheel is kind of rough on your hands. And then I told myself that no truck guy would ever complain about that. So there's that. Can you guys tell me why this truck doesn't get all the press it should? Let me know in the comments below why you think this truck doesn't get the attention, the magnification of the truck game. Is it because we live in North America and all our marketing is geared towards American trucks? Because this is built in the States. So what's up with that? I respect people that buy this Tundra stuff. It's cool. What I don't respect is what on earth are they thinking with all these trims? There are so many trims. It's very complicated, by the way. Not easy at all. So if you're trying to spec out a Tundra, you need to find a salesperson because there's no way you're going to fill this out yourself. It's just way too complicated. Maybe the website's easier to use, but not when you have 40 different trims to pick from. That's a lot. Way more than my brain can handle. Just really good. Just totally going over all these crazy bumps right now and it's amazingly smooth. Very good. So that's it for the 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD. Turd. I can't say that. 
So that's it for the 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD. If you guys like this video, please let us know in the comments below and please do us a favor and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.